Now, within that continuity, here are some things you want to look for. Okay, let's start the ball, pass the ball over here. Ball goes out. One of the things in a zone, a zone defense, no matter what the zone defense is, when the ball goes baseline, they all look the same. Whether it's a 1-2-2, two, two, whether it's a 3-2, whether it's a 2-3, whether it's a 1-3-1, one, one, it doesn't matter. Because they got to rotate to a guy covering the ball. They got to rotate to cover the post. And they got to have a backside rebounder. It doesn't matter what they start out in. They start out in a 1-2-2. Two, two, move up. Ball goes baseline. He's still got to go down. So whenever the ball goes baseline, it should give your players a little bit of, of comfort knowing that they're all the same zones. And even if they're playing a matchup, you know, triangle and two or whatever, you know, pretty much they have to do the same thing. Uh, it was funny, last year we had, a, we'd have, had one or two really good players and a team played a triangle and two on us. And I knew if they figured it out, that they, we would get beat because they're going, my God, they're in a three, triangle and two. You know, what do we do? So they ne our players never really figured it out. We just ran the offense and we got shots. So I didn't want to tell them that they were, that they were trying to mess with them because they would have messed with them if we had found it, figured it out. Okay? So let's say now sometimes this, you, may, you may move out to take this pass away right there. Now, you can come across early. So if you see an opening, come across early. Nothing says you can't. So here again, we're letting the players play within the confines of the, of the offense. Or, ball comes out here. Okay. And he's overplaying the wing. He steps up to the high post. We can pass the ball there. So again, let, just give your players some freedom within the continuity.